U.S. President Barack Obama asked Congress for almost $4 billion to help handle the surge of migrants illegally crossing the border into Texas. The influx of undocumented migrants, many of them children, has revived debate over my immigration reform, a hot-button issue in an overheated political environment. CCTV's Tracy Tandon reports now from New York. East Harlem, or Spanish Harlem as many call it here, is one of the largest Latino communities in New York City, a neighborhood that Adrian Sanchez calls home. Sanchez has been managing this Mexican restaurant for over a decade. Like the thousands of Mexicans living in New York, Sanchez crossed the border 35 years ago. Over the next 30 minutes, he tells me the horrors he saw and endured all for a piece of that sometimes elusive American dream. I once crossed the border a long time ago. Um, believe me what I'm talking about. This is what you read in the newspaper or in the news is not even close for what really happens. You had to feel it, you had to be there to see it and, 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 and feel in your own skin what happens there. You know, the abuse, the rapes of the girls. All that happened. Sanchez survived the crossing and built a life. Every year, millions of Hispanics from Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras try to cross the border into the U.S. like Sanchez. Many don't make it. Over the past year, 52,000 children have been stopped while trying to cross. In Midtown New York, the League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, has kicked off its annual convention. LULAC is the oldest and largest Hispanic organization in the U.S. Every year, the annual LULAC convention covers a range of issues facing the Latino community in America, issues such as jobs and education. But delegates agree that the most pressing issue of all is that of immigration. Increasing legal immigration in the U.S. is just one of many LULAC's proposed reforms. Many delegates say creating a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants is vital. 11 million undocumented people in the most powerful nation in the world is not a mistake, it's public policy. We need to ask different kind of questions. Who benefits from having 11 million undocumented workers in the nation? Not those workers. Back in East Harlem, Sanchez says U.S. politicians need to address Hispanic concerns, especially in non-election years when they don't need the Hispanic vote. The politicians... Uh they need to have the, the Spanish community, the, the Spanish community, on their side. They they come here and they make campaign only when they need, when they're gonna be reelected or when they need the votes. That's when they come here. Oh, you know, I'm I'm this guy, I'm I'm this and that. But then forget about us. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.